Hello dear traders, today Thursday July 15th and I'm online again with a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. The major event yesterday was a speech of Fed Chairman Jerome Powell in front of Congress. It was his semi-annual testimony, what did he tell Congress about? He downplayed the threat of runaway inflation. Earlier this week traders found out that consumer inflation in the US jumped much stronger than expected. Well, the consensus suggested a downtrick in inflation, but it surged in practice. Besides, Powell said that the central bank would continue its cautious approach to monetary policy. Powell doesn't want to confess the truth about inflation, that's why he is playing the waiting game. At the same time, he confirms the facts of rampant inflation. Despite intentions of the central bank to raise interest rates, Powell said they are just what so far. We see gold prices surging in response to his remarks. Yesterday, the metal closed with strong gains. I will show you on the chart. The day before yesterday, inflation data was released and that pin bar was formed. The US dollar tumbled. On the next day, Powell testifies before Congress saying that rate hikes are only words. On the chart, we see a rocket that is sending gold high up in space. Yesterday was an exciting day to follow all the news. The S&P index advanced in light of Powell's speech and hit a new historic high. Now let's discuss everything in detail. First comes gold. I paid attention to the auction yesterday, which you see only one hour chart and active buying. Massive buying took place the day before yesterday following inflation data. After the data, gold was trading higher. The price formed a good level to buy. Then there was a retracement, the third wave also completed, so I recommended playing long position. After buying pressure is over, I would advise you a new trading idea for selling gold. Once buying sentiment is over, selling sentiment will follow. It could be interrupted by a retracement, then we will be able to sell gold. The auctions left some uh, low levels where the price will return. Yesterday, Powell's comments made the gold price soaring. I don't mean that gold will cost $20,000 per once. So my selling idea is valid. If selling pressure pushes the price down, it could be a one big pin bar, it could be daily engulfing. Then we will be able to strike at the lower target after a retracement. This price action should happen. You shouldn't sell right now because there are no levels to place a stop loss. However, from a retracement you can open sell positions and set a stop loss all right. Meanwhile, we should not do anything. I admit gold could grow even higher. Let's wait and see. Now I see targets but there is no clear selling pressure. I know that some traders on forums are trying to play in short positions based on that selling pressure. They want to trade gold in three waves. At the same time, there are some high levels where the price could jump easily. I want to be sure of that. For example, I need some auctions with clear lower borders. What we can read on the chart is a fall when Powell said about a rate hike. A few minutes later, he said that these were just words. If often happens that policymakers and analysts say something one day and the opposite thing on another day. Our goal is making money, so we need clear technical patterns to confirm three aspects. A pattern shape, location and target. Silver also rose in value in light of these events. Now it's got stuck in a narrow range. I don't recommend trading these instruments. The euro dollar pair responded to Powell's comments yesterday. The chart formed an inner bar. The sell bar means a climax is triggered stop orders. I guess we can reach the target that was spotted during the inflation data release. The inflation data weakened, uh, the greenback and the euro broke the lows. This is what happened. That bar means fundamental buyers who bought the pair on Powell's comments. I see the downward channel. If the euro climbs to one of the extreme humes, it will sink later, then we will be able to strike at the highs on the chart. We need confirmation that the market is in the horizontal phase. Meanwhile, the pair is trading in a sloping channel. The pound sterling 
it's not showing any dynamics. The pound dollar is trading flat at low, so I foresee if the move downwards. The US dollar can interfere in this price. This currency pair is a trading instrument. Once a trend is determined, the pair should follow it for sure. And I'm sure lots of traders have said their stop losses here at about 1.3650. Now I don't see any new selling ideas. There has been an inner pin bar which coped with this first target. The second target is still ahead. I suggest just watching. That's all I wanted to tell you today. Manage your risks and take care. See you later. Bye-bye.